Hi friends, I'm Gio, and welcome to my channel. I appreciate you dropping by. This story is called The Pretend Boyfriend. Let's get started. Mid-afternoon at the Central Nevada Credit Union, and it wasn't going well. I'm one of the tellers, and right now I wish I was anywhere but here. Can't an idiot like you even count out the correct change? Didn't you go to school? She yelled. If I had to guess, she was over 80 with thin, wispy silver hair and sharp blue eyes. In spite of the temperature outside, she wore a dark brown long coat with some type of fake fur on the collar and clutched her purse in a death grip. I'm sorry about the mistake, ma'am, I said, pulling another nickel and two pennies out of the drawer. Some of us have to do real work for a living, and you spend your day in this air-conditioned, pampered refrigerator, she yelled. I'm sorry about the inconvenience, ma'am. It should be the correct amount now. Is there anything else I can help you with? I said, struggling to give her what I hoped was a pleasant smile. The woman stood to her full height and pointed her finger at me. Her voice was shrill and knife-sharp. I had to wait in line for fifteen minutes, and you gave me the incorrect change. You did that deliberately. Is this place hiring teenagers now who are rude and can't count? Ma'am, I'm twenty-three, I said. She snorted. Now you're talking back to me? I tell you, young people have no respect for their elders. No respect at all. Get me the manager. I'm lodging a complaint and getting you fired. For seven cents? I asked, not believing what I was hearing. It's the principle that matters, she yelled, pointing a very old finger at me. Ma'am, I'm sorry you had to wait, but can't you see the line of people? Every teller is busy, because it's end of the month. It's payday. As many people who bank online, there are just as many who don't. As you can see, we're swamped, I said. Don't give me your excuses. You're just trying to save your job. Get me the manager, she yelled, as a man came up behind her and rolled his eyes. Let me guess. Grandmother is causing problems again? You'll have to excuse her. She's almost ninety, and she gets like this, the man said, gently taking hold of the woman's elbow. Talk about a cute guy. I guess my age. Dark hair, a clipped-shaped beard, and eyes that could hypnotize me if I wasn't careful. This guy made my heart beat fast. What would it take to get his number? I do not cause problems. I'm giving him a piece of my mind. This man didn't give me the right to change, and I don't like waiting, the elderly woman said. Grandmother, you should apologize. You don't want to make a bad impression and drive my boyfriend away, he said. Boyfriend, I said. You're dating him, the elderly woman sneered, her eyes narrowed a fraction. Yes, grandmother, we're dating, so be nice, the man said, smiling at me, and he winked. He mouthed, play along. Okay, whatever. If a pretend boyfriend is what the guy wanted to calm down his grandmother, a pretend boyfriend is what he'll get. I suppressed a chuckle and went into full flirt mode. This is your grandmother, babe? I can see where you get your looks. Wow, I bet she's still breaking hearts left and right. Ma'am, tell me the truth. A foxy lady like you must have a boyfriend on the side, don't you? Suddenly, the woman's whole attitude changed. She blushed, and her smile tickled her mouth. Since my husband died, I have been lonely, but there is this one gentleman at church, she said. I bet a good-looking woman like you have him following you all over the place, I said. Aren't you the charmer, the grandmother said, but she adjusted her hair and gave her grandson a stern smile. Brandon, I approve. Brandon rolled his eyes and sighed. That's my great-grandmother for you, if you can believe it. How does she manage to look so young, and she's even dating? What's your secret, ma'am? I said giving her a smile I hoped would make her forget the seven-cent discrepancy. Fresh orange juice every morning, she said. 
How long have you and Brandon been dating? Not long, Brandon said, his eyes pleading with me. He's taking me out for ice cream right after work, I said, winking at Brandon. It was Brandon's turn to play along. What time do you get off work today? Five. Wait a minute. If you have been dating, what's his name? The grandmother said. For a second, I almost panicked. How can I tell Brandon my name without his grandmother catching on? I tapped my name tag. Brandon leaned in and read my name tag. What if I take you out to dinner and then ice cream, Chad? It's a date, I said, and inwardly laughed. Flirting with Brandon like this was fun. Brandon's grandmother put the seven cents away in her purse and stared at an oversized digital watch on her tiny wrist. Good Lord, that doesn't give you much time to get ready, and here I am talking away like an old woman. We need to get to the grocery store and the library, and you need to drop me off at your mom's place. Brandon, Chad is all dressed up. What are you going to wear? He looks sexy like he is, I said. This time Brandon chuckled, and he nodded at me as they left. Thanks, Brandon whispered. That could have been a disaster, but it ended up kind of exciting. Too bad I never got a number, because it would have been nice to date Brandon for real. The next customer stepped up, and then another, and another, and they flowed non-stop until just before five. The manager went to the main doors to lock them and give us a chance to clean up. A man snuck in just before the manager got to the doors. Brandon. He said something to my manager, and my manager nodded in my direction. Brandon came over to me. We still up for dinner and ice cream? As soon as I clean up. You get your grandmother to your mom's? I did, and she wants me to tell her everything about our date. That reminds me. Grandma told my family about you, and that I should invite you over for Sunday dinner so I can show off my sexy boyfriend. I'd be careful. Grandma likes you, Brandon said. Sexy? Me? I said. Grandma's words, but I agree, Brandon said, looking away and slightly turning red. Well... I guess we better get to know each other, I said. I'm Chad, and I like to watch sunsets while eating ice cream with somebody special. I'm Brandon, and I know the perfect spot. I hope you like heights, he said. And that was how I met my husband. The End Thanks for listening, everybody. See you next time. Peace.